Hi, this is Ethan with Combat Radio with a look at A Christmas Carol, 1984. Not because it's a crossover to the Orwell book, 1984, but because it was made for television in 1984. Look, there are hundreds of versions of this. Albert Finney did a musical version, the Muppets did a version, there are animated versions. Black Adder even did an inverted version where Scrooge is nice and the ghost needs to make a mean. Hundreds of interpretations, but this may be the best adaptation of Dickens' work. Now, my favorite will always be the version that we did for charity with Ian Buchanan and Scrooge, but this is a close second. I think in part because Scott had made a reputation on playing such fierce characters that when you see him make the transformation at the end, when he suddenly realizes not just what Christmas, but what life should be about, it's that much more emotionally engaging. Frank Finley from The Three Musketeers is Marley. Incidentally, that's the role I played in our version. You know, Scott was nominated for an Emmy for this, which is interesting because he famously refused the Academy Award for Patton, saying you can't really award dramatic performances. He also donated his copyright, which somehow he was in possession of on this film, to a medical institution. Edward Woodward from Breaker Morant, who was also the equalizer if you grew up in the 80s. Joanne Wally, before she was Kilmer, now she's back to Wally. Incidentally, the ghost of Christmas future is Michael Carter. You may remember him as Jabba's stooge in Return of the Jedi. The level of sincerity in Scott's performance when he realizes, as the character Scrooge, that the strife, pain, and anguish that society feels is something he can fix, that he's got the means to fix it, the will to fix it, that's a heavy, high-octane moment, and he really delivers it in this. Anyway, this is an absolute classic. A Christmas Carol, directed by Clive Donner. See it, and Merry Christmas.